that the education of the children is seen to. Then the aspect of the company. I would like to state very clearly that the tragic incidents and the killings of people here in Tutikoran is the direct result of the Modi government's ease of business policies. It is a direct result of crony capitalism followed by the Modi government, in which we all know Vedanta was a very generous donor to the Modi government. And a quid pro quo seems to have occurred, whereby instead of checking and rechecking and monitoring whether the anti-pollution measures mandated by the Supreme Court have been followed or not, without any such audit, the Modi government sitting in Delhi gave the OK for the expansion that was supported and encouraged by the AIDMK government in Tamil Nadu without taking the people of the area into confidence without understanding the pathetic situation of health, of water scarcity, of polluted water, of barren land which they face because of the company's hazardous practices. And we believe it is the Modi government which has given such permissions here to Sterlite and also to many other companies across India, which is leading to a great deal of suffering. I want to make it absolutely clear. My party is not against industry. My party is not against manufacturing. My party is not against the whole question of trying to provide manufacturing so that people get employment. But the issue here is very clear. This is a company which importing copper using cheap Indian labor, not even making them permanent, and exploiting the resources here, exploiting the environment and ruining the environment, not obeying a single Indian law. We cannot allow such things to happen. And therefore, this is not development. This is destruction. So we strongly support the permanent closure of this plant. It cannot run the way it has been doing. And it is time for them to shut shop. The people of this area have been very deeply affected. Thousands of people have been affected by this. And therefore, we also demand the permanent closure of this plant. And we hold the Modi government and those who were there before him and those who are there now in running Tamil Nadu, we hold them responsible for this present condition today.